Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best gaming TVs. Starting at number 5. Hisense 65 inch. If you'd like the Sony X93L or LG B3 OLED but are tight on money, you can safely step down to the best lower mid range gaming TV we've tested, the Hisense U7K. It's dimmer than the Sony, with worse contrast, but it has almost the same feature set. Plus, it's still easily bright enough for a very good HDR experience, and its contrast is excellent overall, so it looks great when gaming in a dark room. It has fantastic reflection handling, so it handles very bright rooms well. It has a good local dimming solution to emphasize highlights and further improve the TV's contrast. It's also a very colorful TV, so it's pleasant to watch in any context. Unfortunately, its viewing angle is narrow, so it's best viewed directly in front. Thankfully, its response time is excellent, making it an enticing option for gamers hoping to save money on a great TV. It has superbly low input lag and offers an extremely responsive gaming experience. Like the higher-end X93L and B3, it has two HDMI 2.1 bandwidth ports, but here, each port is capable of up to 4K at 144Hz, alongside full VRR and Auto Low Latency Mode ALLM, support. Furthermore, it has full 120Hz Dolby Vision support, a great feature for a lower mid-range model. If you love this TV but would like it to be even brighter, consider the Hisense U8K, which is basically just a much brighter U7K. The 2024 Hisense U7N is now available to pre-order. It's supposed to have some improvements like better local dimming and contrast, increased brightness, and a new chipset. The TV is also very expensive at launch, so unless you want those minor upgrades, you're better off getting the cheaper U7K while you still can. Coming at number 4. LG B3 Series. If you're looking for a gaming TV in the mid-range price category, consider the LG B3 OLED. It's a truly splendid TV, with only a few drawbacks compared to the more expensive models. The TV has all the features of the more expensive LG C3 OLED, although the B3 is certainly dimmer. It still delivers outstanding picture quality, especially in a dark room, with its near-infinite contrast ratio delivering deep, inky blacks with no distracting blooming. Just make sure to dim the lights when gaming on this TV, as it's not bright enough in HDR to offer a truly immersive gaming experience in bright rooms. This TV is available in a more narrow range of sizes compared to the more expensive LG, 55, 65, and 77 inches. It's still great for gaming, with its two HDMI 2.1 ports offering up to 4K at 120Hz support, including Dolby Vision Gaming at 120Hz. If you have multiple HDMI 2.1 devices, you'll have to navigate around having only two HDMI 2.1 ports, but thankfully, HDMI 2.1 switches are now pretty cheap. It is compatible with every VRR technology, has a fantastic response time, and has an extremely low input lag in game mode. Like other OLEDs, its viewing angle is truly fantastic, making it a great TV for large gaming parties. Overall, this TV is a great entry point into the OLED market. The LG B4 OLED is now available and brings some improvements. LG has increased the number of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth ports to 4 on the new model, and the TV has a new processor that brings the AI Picture Pro feature to it. Unless you need those extra HDMI 2.1 ports, you're better off getting the B3 while it's still available since new models are very expensive at first. At number 3. LG C3 Series. If you want an OLED that is not only great at gaming but can also be an excellent home theater TV, consider the upper mid-range LG C3 OLED. The main difference between this TV and the Samsung S90C OLED, minus its 83-inch model, is the specific type of OLED panel used. Both TVs deliver an incredible dark room experience, with no distracting blooming or haloing around bright areas of the screen. But the QD OLED panel on the Samsung allows for brighter, vibrant, and lifelike colors, resulting in much better color volume overall. The LG partly makes up for it by being more versatile, 
as it has better image processing, Dolby Vision gaming at 120Hz, and can pass through advanced DTS audio formats. As with all OLEDs, it's a sight to behold in a dark room, with bright highlights next to the TV's perfect inky blacks. It's also bright enough for a pleasant gaming experience in a moderately lit room. It delivers incredible gaming performance with a nearly instantaneous response time, resulting in crystal clear motion with no distracting blur behind fast moving objects. It's also packed with gaming features, including full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth support on all four inputs, which means you can simultaneously take full advantage of the Xbox Series X, PS5, or a recent PC GPU. If you love this TV but wish it were more vibrant, consider the more expensive LG G3 OLED. The G3 is one of the brightest OLEDs on the market and is certainly brighter than the C3, but it's not worth the price difference for most people. The LG C4 OLED is now available. It features a new processor, can do up to 4K at 144Hz, and is supposed to be brighter than its predecessor. It's also a lot more expensive at release, so unless you really need those small upgrades, you're likely better off getting the C3 while it's on sale. Number 2 of my list Sony 65-inch If you're more of a bright room gamer or want a TV that will blow away your friends during a well-lit party, the best 4K TV for gaming in a bright room that we've tested is the Sony X93L slash X93CL. It's an excellent gaming TV with very little blur behind fast-moving objects, thanks to its excellent response time, but there's a bit more blur than on the OLEDs due to their near-instant response time. Thanks to the deep blacks of its mini-LED backlight, it looks great in a dark room, but it's not quite as good as the OLEDs, as there's more noticeable blooming around bright objects and subtitles. It does maintain its HDR brightness, as well as being substantially brighter in SDR, better than any OLED. It has great gaming features, including HDMI 2.1 bandwidth for 4K at 120Hz gaming on two of its HDMI ports and VRR support to reduce screen tearing. Unfortunately, two HDMI 2.1 ports are tight if you have multiple HDMI 2.1 devices, especially as one is also the eARC port. An advantage of this TV over the Samsung S90C OLED is its Dolby Vision gaming support, although it only works at 60Hz, so it's better suited for the quality mode of your favorite games. If you have money to burn, look up the Sony X95L, the best LED TV on the market. It's only available in an 85-inch size in North America, and it's not worth the price premium over the X93L for most people, but if you're looking for the best LED TV, that is it. And number 1. Samsung 65-inch. The best TV for gaming we've tested is the Samsung S90C OLED. It's a feature-packed TV that delivers an incredible gaming experience. Its low input lag and nearly instantaneous response time result in crystal clear, fluid motion with no distracting blur or ghosting behind fast-moving objects. The TV delivers impressive picture quality thanks to its unique QD OLED panel. It delivers incredibly deep blacks, making this an impressive TV for gaming in a dark room. HDR gaming on the Samsung is amazing, but it doesn't support Dolby Vision, although relatively few games support it anyway. It also looks great in bright rooms, with high peak brightness allowing it to easily overcome glare. Its viewing angle is incredibly wide, so it's a great choice for playing couch co-op or party games with friends sitting around the TV. All four HDMI inputs support 4K at 144Hz, so you can take full advantage of a PS5, Xbox Series SX, and a recent PC GPU without compromising motion performance or input lag. If you have deep pockets and are looking for the best, no matter the cost, consider the higher-tier Samsung S95C OLED, which is even brighter. However, considering how bright and colorful the S90C already is, the S95C is not worth the significant price hike for most people. The Samsung S90D slash S90DD OLED is now available. It has less banding in colors, does a better job smoothing out low-quality content, and gets brighter, but it's also currently a lot more expensive. Unless you really want the small upgrades it offers, you're better off buying the cheaper S90C while it's still available. 
It's worth mentioning that Samsung's 2024 OLED lineup is confusing, as they're releasing the same sized S90DS with both OLED and QD OLED panels, and there isn't a simple way to determine what panel type you get. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.